Oh my goodness, how'd you get there already? Hey, hello everyone, and uh, well, uh, welcome to another what I got sort of video. This is what I got recently, I guess. <laughs> Not a part of any sort of holiday or anything like that. This is an Alolan Vulpix plush. It is incredibly well made. That is why I had to get it. I love those sorts of works of arts, even in plush form, and it is mega Mega soft, mega cute, made of minky, I do believe. Yeah, the details are fantastic. Look at those little tail spirals, the ear tufts. Yeah, what's more to say other than it is cute, it is amazing, and yeah, as I said, I had to get it. <laughs> also stands up pretty well, well, other than on my lumpy bed, because it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of a weird surface with the, yeah, see, it's like both both feet are up there, both leaning back there, oh, but oh, no, it's leaning more forward there, oh, well, that, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, on a flat surface, it does uh, sit normally, so you don't have to worry about adjusting it or anything for your display purposes. And the eyes, they are embroidered, super shiny and everything like that, so very, very nice overall. I'll plop that outside of the camera's focus range, I guess. <laughs> the other thing I got... Which is already open, the Chi Yi Sail Transparent. Yeah, it's, it, well, I, I kind of wish that I had a light behind it now that I look at it on camera. Hmm, hold on a sec. Hmm, even this is not working very well. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll show its beauty later. Uh, basically, I got this stinker because it looks really cool. It's not any different from a regular 3x3 three three or anything like that. You just scramble and solve. Well, other than it, you know, it's, it's transparent. The stickers are like a matte... Uh, frosted, transparent as well, and stuff like that, so, yeah. By the way, the, a puzzle that is transparent like this is not World Cubing Association legal type dealio thing, because you can see the colors on the opposite side, but it it it's just for fun, basically. <laughs> Well, then again, if you think about it, all cubes are for fun, so, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, one more little slot, and as usual, I got the camera right in my face, so it's kind of awkward to solve, because I don't have the things in my right sort of kind of best camera angle so I can, I mean, best vi viewing angle so I can put my hands where I want them and stuff, but hey, look at that, it's solved. <laughs> but yeah, this is, uh, it's, it's tight, like it's, <laughs> that, that's another thing about it is I just got it, so I haven't adjusted or anything like that, like I got, uh, I got my, uh, Mofang Jiaoshi cubing classroom right here, like look, 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 oh, oh my goodness, just, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure this one will be just like that after I loosen it or something like that, but it's not. It ain't going. <laughs> so yeah, when I when I loosen that up, it should be a whole lot better there. So let's just plop that over there. And the other thing that I got is it. Well, it it, it said it was a Mofeng Jiaoshi on the website, but it's, the, the box doesn't really have this logo. Yeah, that. That's the that's the Mofeng Jiaoshi logo. So far, as far as I know, this is just the Moyu mirror blocks. I've never actually had a mirror blocks before. So, yeah, you basically it's shape shifts, and you're supposed to solve it by shape and not by color. So it's a little bit more challenging than your typical three by three dealio. And since I've never had one, I've also never solved one too. So maybe I will see if I. Can can give it a solve on camera. And you'll notice that these stickers are a, uh, they like, they got lines across them, like metal brush marks, I guess you could say. And man, this is really weird to handle <laughs> because of the, uh, uh, the different sized lumps that are attached to it. And yeah. Okay. So as you can see, now, now it's, it's, it's scrambled, but can I solve it? That is the question. Well, what is, first off, the 
longest center of soil, so I can put the longest blocks next to it. I think it's this one, actually. Yes, and that that would. Well, oh wait, what am I doing corners for? That that that's that's stupid. <laughs> Should not be doing corners first. That's correct with that one, I think. Yes. Oh, I guess technically it is partly a super cube because the uh, see, like there's brush marks running this way, but there's and then there's brush marks running this way. So if I really wanted to super cube it up, I would have to kind of align them thusly. Uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't know if I'll really do that for the video. Uh, cause that's a little bit more lengthy of a solve, and this will probably already be lengthy enough. <laughs> because I'm trying to figure out which piece goes where. Okay. Now we are on track. I've got two opposite pieces there, and, uh, and, nope, 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 that, that, nope, nope. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's a matter of recognition when, yeah, when it comes to the mirror blocks of doom. Okay, there we go. So now you've almost got all the big chunks completed on the cross. I just think I, I've already taken this much time to solve this in comparison to how quickly I solved the chi Yi sale. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should just use a, a beginner method or something like that. Eh. I, I think this one needs to be loosened too, because I'm not really getting much corner cutting shenanigans out of it. Yeah, <laughs> but that's that I will save for a little bit later, I suppose. Uh, oh wait, that's not even close. <laughs> Gotta find the biggest chunk that it can fit in the chunk. I, I At least I think this is a chunk that'll fit in one of those. No, no, it's not. This isn't a chunk that is a chunk. Or maybe it is. Uh, no, because it sticks out like... <laughs> so it's gotta be more like... This certain... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Tricky, tricky. <laughs> uh, no, that's still not the right chunker. <laughs> and, no, no. I feel like I'm just trial and erroring it. Because I I can't recognize the piece size. <laughs> oh, this one this one's definitely in place. Uh, let's see. Is this does that go in there? Yes. Okay. We we're making progress now. <laughs> oh man, I can't can't wait for that last layer to see how much I flub that up. Uh, oh, I actually didn't solve the. Oh shoot, did I mess up the? Cross, I, oh, I did mess up the cross. Oopsie. <laughs> I think I got turned around somewhere in there. Okay, so that one definitely went there. And, oh no, oh, 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 this one, no, that's too thick. <laughs> it's gotta be that one then. Oh wait, no, maybe I didn't mess up the cross, but it was just on the other, well, I'll continue it this way, I guess. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, or at least in theory, it shouldn't matter, I suppose. Hmm. Mm, nope. See, it fits there, so maybe I should build the cross off of here, then, since I just, you know, I know I got that one in place, but then that's a it's kind of a small piece there. I'm kind of looking for just the large pieces so I can finish up with the small pieces for the sake of handling. <laughs> Not really sure how well that will work, but this is probably embarrassing to a master mirror block solver. <laughs> nah, it's just a matter of figuring out which goes where and whatnot. I do not want to break up that block like I did the other time. Okay, we got we got our cross ish uh, back there. I, I le at least I think that. <laughs> uh, okay, so now. Back to trying to... Okay, I got that. <laughs> I th yeah, I definitely need to loosen this up because I'm going like... Ee, trying to get past... <laughs> trying to get past the lack of corner cuts. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Mm. 
<laughs> maybe it was this one that goes into this area here. I think that was the one. Oh, no, no, not quite. Maybe I switched these two blocks. Yes, I am definitely beginner methoding it up right now. <laughs> Because it's so hard for me to recognize the pieces. Um, I need a good chunker to go here. Chunky, chunky, this one? Yes. Okay, when, as the pieces are coming into alignment, I am beginning to see the light. <laughs> okay, so that one, that one does, oh, I, oh shoot, I lost my corner, didn't I? Oh, shooty, shoot. <laughs> I am, I am losing the lights. Uh, it, it just, I'm just going into the darkness. Oh wait, that was not. Oh shoot! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> uh, uh, oh, mm. oh, I think it was this one actually. Let's see. Flip it that way, and yeah, there we go. <laughs> so does this go into? No, it doesn't go like that. Which of these pieces is the key to victory on the top here? <laughs> when I see it line up with this corner piece, then I'll know, uh, basically, but wait, wait, hold on a sec. How about this one? Ah, nope, too, too narrow, too narrow. This definitely goes right there, that's, that's for sure. Uh, hmm, mm, no, we'll, we'll, we'll get this though. I try and break these two pieces apart because I think that's actually a piece that I need for the other side. Uh, or maybe not. Oh wait, maybe it was. Hold on. Oh, yep, 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 yep. There we go. We are F2Ling like a pro, and I keep drifting off to this side of the camera. <laughs> that's. I'm, I guess I'm kind of gravitating to whichever place is more comfortable at the moment. <laughs> Uh, how about this one? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. That's a pretty big piece, though, for uh, said edge. So I should be... Oh, it's over here in this one, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you know, I forgot there's one other corner I've got to do, of course. <laughs> separate. Oh, they, I didn't separate those very well there. There we go. Oh, I actually think I just accidentally... Yeah, I accidentally paired these. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Um, uh, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, first two layers done. <laughs> we're, we're gonna make it. We are gonna make it, I, I think. Um, I think this is the thinnest layer, so let's see what we can do here with that. Is that, was that correct? I, no, wait, was it? Uh, <laughs> just trying to see here if that was even. Mm, do, 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 do. And then flip. Oh, shoot! I messed up that one. <laughs> uh, uh oh, oh, panic, panic. Okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, I don't think that was the right algorithm for that one anyway. I was just getting kind of off track. This one is... I feel I should be able to recognize this. <laughs> hmm. Let's try this one. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm still a little, little befuddled as to where I am piecewise, though. Um, is this an EPERM? Like for the corners, I think it is, which could very well be the death of me <laughs> in terms of my solve. Um, no, that was not an EPERM. Okay, but at least I got into some sort of manageable position. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh, okay, we're all flats. We are back to all flats. Maybe I should just like not, not mess around too much with the <laughs> like with something that's too complicated for my own skill level on this. Let's just just kind of flip flop around some pieces and okay, okay, oh oh oh, oh man, oh man, I think we're, we've almost got this. 
Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, not quite. <laughs> oh, man, we're so close. We're so close. Uh, actually, I think this one goes there, that one. So then it's like that, and then we reverse. Uh, like that. Uh, no. That was. Did I just do it wrong because I'm not recognizing the. Uh, hold on. <laughs> oh, I even did it wrong on that one, but hold on. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I, fe I feel like that I'm now, now getting too used to the mirror blocks. <laughs> okay. Sort of, kind of. Um. Hmm. Eh, eh. Mm -mm, eh, 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 eh. Uh, no. Well, let's try that again. Uh, well, no. <laughs> oh, by the way, I think this is pre lubed, uh, because I can feel my hands are sort of greasy. I forgot to mention that. Uh, yeah, there's some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, okay, so. Yeah! Oh, I don't have the, all the centers. Yeah, see how it's, see how it shines in a different direction like it's a super cube? But yeah, technically, it is indeed solved, even though that, you know, that, that you, you can super cube that. But I, 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 I've punished myself enough this video. That took way, way too long for me to solve. So. <laughs> The other thing that I got to fill out the order, because those two, you know, these these two puzzles here were not quite $10, so I got a Yushin 5x5 spring set to experiment with, because I tried a different set of springs for my Chi Yi uh, 6x6, the Wu Ha, I think it's called, or, or Wu Q, or I think it's Wu Ha, something like that. And yeah, the original springs were made this really stiff, so I tried something else. Much, much better. I thought the other springs and the, the stiffness would go away over time, but it, it, it didn't. Like, you know, as you break it and you wear it on the plastic and stuff like that, they loosen, but it, it just did not to my liking. So then I switched springs to like a dollar store three by three and it feels so, so much better. It's because it, it doesn't cramp the hands. So yeah, I thought that I would get these to try maybe on either this or this, my uh, Mofeng Jiaoshi. Yeah, another Mofeng Jiaoshi from Moyu. Another, yeah, it's a 7x7. Seven seven. Because this one's a little bit stiff in on itself, so I thought I would play with the springs with this and, com you know, like, maybe put these springs that I currently have in this, or maybe put these springs in this, because I already got this one to be pretty, pretty good. <laughs> but... Yeah, so that is what I got recently. Now, just out of curiosity, if I were to loosen the tensions here, there we go, see there's this, this little screw thingy here, and let's just see, I have a s screwdriver on the shelf behind me, how is that now? Oh, that's better, oh man, I did a half turn, that's already way better, let's do a full turn. All I'm doing is looking at the... Uh, the screw head to see where we are at in terms of the uh, uh, in, in terms of how much I've loosened it. I'm just gonna see here. Like, look, wow, that is so much better. <laughs> Let's do another half turn here, just, just a little bits at a time. Just trying to get that yellow to go 45 possible. It's it's close. It's very close. <laughs> Uh, it also might have to do with the other layers around it. That's why I went. Oh yeah, I guess it has to do with the orange layer too, or maybe not. I don't know. It's just it's really stiff. Probably requires a lot of break in time. The same with this one as well to get it to be, you know, like this. <laughs> but yeah, I got 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 a ways to go to get this thing up to speed so to speak oh wait no maybe i just didn't didn't need to uh, loosen it because that's like two full turns now holy poopers how how tight did they have this sucker from the factory <laughs> yeah that's way way better now it's, it's i mean it's still gonna be a little bit a little bit looser though but i'll go one more half turn and see 
yeah, I'll, I'll I'll stick with that and see how it breaks in. But then I have to, you know, I have to do that to all the other sides as well. But <laughs> it's the same with this one. But yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess if you really wanted to cheat this, um, like if you wanted to quote unquote solve the super cube. Uh, you could pop off the caps and then rotate them in the position that you want them to be. But the reason why I want to pop up, pop the cap off right now is so that I can get underneath it to unscrew it. Uh, <laughs> like I did the other one. Let's just see here. I, I will, of course, adjust the other five sides there on that one. But yeah, look how deep that piece is. I don't know if you can even see the, the screw in there. And oh, yep, there's, there's a whole bunch of lube. Or on the, the edge of that. Okay, there you go. You can see that in the shine. All right, so let's go ahead and... Oh, man, that's stiff. Holy poopers, that is... I am pressing so hard. Okay, I did one and a half turns there. How is the corner cutting now? Wow, that's significantly better. <laughs> Holy jeez. And I can barely even see in the screw hole myself, and I'm missing it. Uh, oh, wait, oh, hold on. Wait, 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 which side did I test it on before? I think it was this one. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep keep do loosening just one to see what I can do with it, like I did the other one. That's another half. And can I get 45 out of this? By the way, what I'm looking for when I see 45 is the 45 degrees of this angle piece, not not in relation to this piece, because remember these pieces are extended. I'm just looking at the the actual centers when I am turning at 45 degrees to see for its angle of cutting this. Oh, 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 oh wait a second. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, we have reached the 45 degree barrier. <laughs> so yeah, it, it just if you ever have trouble with a cube, just see if you can loosen it. And it should be a whole lot better. Holy poopers, that is wow. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna do that to the, <laughs> to the rest of the sides. All uh, right, let's cheat that super cube now. Um, this one goes like, oh man, cheating the super cube. <laughs> Basically, there's an algorithm to rotate just one center, but I don't. I don't trust myself that I would be able to recognize the uh, the position that I'm at. <laughs> Well, I'm in the middle of it currently, and I'm not sure I fully know said algorithm to flip just one center, but yeah. Uh, so you can have the centers at just basically any, any position, and it's still gonna be super cube solvable, because you can only, I mean, you, ugh, come on, because you can rotate one center at a time. Come on, man. This is, this cap. This cap. <laughs> I'm I'm very much straining to get this cap off. Hold on. <laughs> okay, a little screwdriver. Little bitty screwdriver here. Get under the cap. Twist off gently. So I don't scratch into the stickers. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's here we go. We're cheating the super cube. And there we go. <laughs> so now they're all facing the same direction. Heck yeah. Oh, oh nope. They're not. Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Let's try this one here. But yeah, that's... If you don't want to do the super cube thing, or we don't even have to do this, in all honesty. You can just kind of uh, just leave it like that. Because as I said, the... Uh, um, the uh, mirror blocks technically are solved when all the sides are flat. So it's... Yeah, it's not really a uh, super cube anyway. <laughs> Unless you want to count it as a super cube, I'm just I'm just doing this for the fun of it. I don't really have to do this at all, but I will be, uh, um, you know, I'll be loosening this and whatnot. What is what is that? What is the screwdriver even going into there? Is that like a gap? Some I'm, I'm definitely not going into, or I should say, under the caps. Uh, yeah, I think there's a. Is that? <laughs> hmm. Hmm, yeah, I don't know where the edge of this cap is. Is it really there? Huh? I don't... This one's different than the other ones. Why is it different? <laughs> I can't really tell. And now, that, now I'm really curious to see why this is... Even though I've, I've already been rambling for quite a while now, but... <laughs> yeah, what makes this one... Maybe because it's so shallow, it's got a different... Um, attachment system like maybe it goes over the center rather than goes 
under it. I mean, uh, excuse me, through the middle of it. Hmm. Yeah, because I, I want to get all the caps off to be able to loosen off, you know, loosen up all the sides, obviously, but it's going to be like that. I don't really. Yeah, I don't want to break it either. Just got this. Dang it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the seam is right there, but yet it doesn't pop off when I lift. So what is this held on by? I don't know, and I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> and I've been rambling on long enough anyway, so I think I am going to call this a video. I've even moved my little camera stand here while I was fiddling with the cubes and stuff. There we go, or much more centered. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video, and maybe I think I'll show you some beauty shots of that the, the, the sail over here. <laughs> oh, much better lighting to show beauty. Oh, incredible. <laughs>